this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 1. <clears throat> the righteous perish, and no man lay it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, now considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. All right, so first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashami, Havashai. I want to give double honor to the apostles and great millstone who rule well. And I also want to say peace and blessing, salutation to the hope of the elect. All right, man, you know, we got brothers basically going back to, to the most high, man. All right, scoffers going to say what they're going to say. But as it says in the scriptures, the righteous perish for the evil to come, man. All right, so, you know, just for, for, for consolation to, to brothers, man, that have to, you know, witness this to, our, to the members of our body, man. It don't feel good, you know, but through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh he gave us the comfort. And I'm going to read that again. Isaiah 57 and 1. The righteous perish, and no man layeth it to heart. And merciful men are taken away. So, you know, merciful men, our brothers have been taken away from us in the flesh, man. All right? None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. So, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, it's actually merciful. I know it's hard to swallow, but it's actually merciful for some of us to go back to the most high, man. Because in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, it's going to be hell on earth. But, you know, with that, man, I hope your brothers are confident, man. I mean, all honor and glory go to you. How about Hashem, how about Shah? Hey, and, and, and Shalom.